This is Linda Jones, the guinea pig slave at the Guinea Pig Slave Rescue here in Jacksonville, Arkansas. We have many guinea pigs that come in here with different ailments, different issues. And this little boy, Templeton, came in here today with a very severe case of mites. This, my friends, is what mites does to a guinea pig. It's just, they chew on themselves. It's very painful. It's very difficult. Um, it's not hard to, to cure. It really is not. It is um, very common that guinea pigs get mites. Um, let me explain a little bit about mites. I did my research on mites because so many guinea pigs come to us with them. Um, mites do not live in the hay, but the way that the hay is baled pulls in mites into the bag. I did my research talking to actually tractor drivers here in Arkansas and I was curious because so many um, guinea pigs get it from the hay and it did not make sense why mites would live in hay. The two don't match. So what I found out that there's two kinds of tractors that are used to uh, bale your hay and guinea pigs need the hay desperately. There is a tractor that drags the ground and what is in the ground in the fields dead animals, um, all kinds of things, mites um, living off of dead flesh, I mean I, it's a gross, but they drag the ground and then there's a, a whole process um, through the process of the baling and then it sucks it into a bag, trapping the mites in there with the bag, with the um, hay. So that's how it gets there. Now there's other, another kind of tractor that uses air suction to clear the fields and bale your hay. Those don't tend to have the mite issue at all. Now the downside here is you will never know on your packaging how to tell whether your hay is one tractor is being used or another tractor is being used. You just don't know. Uh, sometimes you can guess because of the amount of dust some hay is extremely dusty and some it has a lot less dust but there's no guarantee so how do we protect these little creatures from from being in such a horrible condition from mites well uh, here at the guinea pig slave rescue in Jacksonville Arkansas we treat them preventatively uh, we had the mites go through our entire herd twice before I learned how to prevent it how to make sure it never recurs when you have so many come in with mites, you really need to be on top of it. So, these are the two. All of our guinea pigs that come in go through a process of um, an intake. Uh, the intake is a full health, health assessment, and they all get a bath, a medicated bath with... I'll turn this around so you can see. Oh, it's not going to let me turn it around. Wonderful. Um, uh, I'm going to have to show you the shampoo. It's like this. I'm going to show it to you backwards. This is the shampoo we use. It is spelt backwards because my phone will not turn it around. And it is used to prevent the mites, to clear up mites, um, lice, um, all kinds of medications, all kinds of things that would in, you know, bother their skin, skin problems. And they get a bath in this right away to help them. And he will be getting his bath. He's just arrived. He has not been here very long. Oh, he's kissing me. The other thing we do, besides the... That's okay, I know. He's very uncomfortable. Sorry, baby. The other thing is we treat our entire herd with ivermectin. We use the poron because it's much easier to dose than the cream. The cream is very hard to dose it correctly. And we put a drop behind each ear every four to six weeks. Where do you get these items? Shampoo is on Amazon. And it's on our wish list at the Guinea Pig Slave Rescue on Amazon. So you can always look at our wish list and see what your piggies might need. And this is from Tractor Supply. Um, they have it available elsewhere, but Tractor Supply sells it. It says it's for cattle, but you dose it down to one drop behind each year for guinea pigs. And I promise you, after keeping using this every four to six weeks for the piggies that are here, we don't have mite problems here ever again. We have not had another one since. We offer free health check, nail trimming uh, for everybody that comes here and free mite treatment. 
It costs us. We don't care. We want healthy animals. We're all about healthy guinea pigs here. That's all that matters. I don't care how much it costs. We want them healthy. So this is to prevent it. So we don't have to suffer. This little guy is going to feel so much better. He's going to have updates. His fur will come in again. And he will stop scratching. He will feel so much better. Thank you all so much for letting me share. I hope this is helpful to you. Peace, love, and guinea pigs. Please follow us on Facebook on the guinea pig slave. Thank you.